But first, guilty verdicts across the board. Within the last hour, we learned three former Minneapolis police officers were found guilty on all federal charges they faced in George Floyd's death. Lou Raguse has been following this trial from the beginning. He joins us now live from St. Paul with more. Lou? Yeah, Julie and Rena, this was a resounding across the board guilty verdict for the three former Minneapolis police officers who were with Derek Chauvin on the day that George Floyd was killed. The jury found them guilty, Tu Tao and J. Alexander King guilty of two counts of depriving George Floyd's rights, uh, guilty of failing to intervene and stop Derek Chauvin, as well as guilty of failing to render medical aid. In addition, Thomas Lane, who was uh, the third defendant, he faced one count failure to give medical aid and they found him guilty of that as well. There were three jurors who wiped away tears as after the verdicts were read and they were gone through and polled about their decision. The three defendants were allowed to leave court out of custody because they still have a pending trial in state court but there's a lot to discuss about that as well because at this point, the penalties that they face here in federal court potentially are higher than anything they could face in state court. The jury unanimously decided and ruled that the, the offenses that these officers committed caused the death of George Floyd. And that is important when it comes to sentencing, and it means that they are looking at a heftier sentence as a result. Uh, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of parts that go into that, but the guidelines call uh, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of what Derek Chauvin is facing, and he pleaded guilty to this charge and agreed to be sentenced to somewhere between 20 and 25 years in prison. The judge, Paul Magnuson, does have some, uh, uh, has the ability to go a little bit lower than that if he feels uh, like that's what should happen, but it remains to be seen. The sentencing will happen at a later date. We are here at the federal courthouse in St. Paul where this trial has taken place over the course of the last month, and we are awaiting a news conference from the U.S. Attorney's Office that prosecuted this case, and so we'll bring you back out here as soon as that begins. Well, Lou, 